five-year-old Narcisse was born with a cleft lip. In Benin, people with cleft lips are considered outcasts, or even cursed. Narcisse knows he is different from most little boys. The cleft lip has made it difficult for him to speak, and he's become very shy. Thousands of children are born with cleft lips every year. It's a genetic problem that can be easily fixed if you live in a developed nation. But in West Africa, such a simple operation is often unavailable. Back home, people that are born with cleft lip get it fixed pretty much straight away or not long after they're born. Here, they just can't get their hands on it because they can't afford it, they don't have access to it, There's the doctors here can't do the surgery. While healthcare services in Benin are better than some West African countries, the people still live in poverty. They can't afford the basics of life, let alone an operation. Help has come to Narcisse in the form of a Mercy Ship's floating hospital. Staffed by medical experts, the Mercy Ship offers free world-class medical care to West African nations. It's a practical expression of the character and nature of a loving God reaching out to those who can't help themselves. Working in the market, Narcisse's mother found out about the hospital ship docked in her local port. She took Narcisse to a Mercy Ship screening day where he was scheduled for a free surgery. Mercy Ship surgeons operate on Narcisse. It's a short procedure. Afterwards, he stays on board this place of rest and hope while he recovers. And today, 10-month-old Aishatu will also undergo surgery. She endures a similar hardship as Narcisse, a cleft lip. But she also suffers with a cleft palate. Her operation will last several hours, but the results will be life-changing. Dr. Gary Parker is her surgeon. By closing the lip, her emotional development and her place in the community will be set as a normal child rather than as one who is treated as abnormal. These simple operations open the door to a world of opportunity for these forgotten children. And the future is looking much brighter for Narcisse as he's accepted back into his community. He will no longer have to bear the rejection and isolation of living with a physical deformity. As Narcisse grows up, he may not remember much about his visit to the big hospital ship, but he will never forget the story of how mercy ships gave him a new start in life. <laughs>